Hey everybody, today I'm doing a review on the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection, all the pieces, except for the makeup bag, I didn't pick that up. But everything else, all the makeup pieces, I'm bringing you a review of today. Now I am wearing a ton of products from the collection on my face today, including four eyeshadows, two face products, two lip products, and a few other ColourPop products as well. And if you'd like to see a tutorial on this look, please head to my info section. I have a link there and you can check it out if you'd like to see how I got here. So guys, I have lots and lots of swatches for you guys, so let's get started with this review. So the first product I'm focusing on is the quad, and this is called Mama's Apple Pie, and this is the Super Shock Shadow. The first shade in the quad is the shade Rainbow, and this is a Super Shock Shadow Glitter Sheer. This shade is like a super highlight, really glittery, really smooth, kind of like a platinum. This is great for using in the inner corner of the eye, even on the face, or just layering over darker shadows like School Bus really easy to work with. Next shade in the quad is Friendship File. This is also Super Shock Shadow and this is in a metallic formula. Honestly, I feel like this formula is closer to a glitter formula in that it's very high shine, high glittery. It's almost a muted pink, but this is definitely going to be more of like a softer highlight on your eye rather than a metallic shadow. The next shade is Small Gift and this is a true metallic. It's also labeled as metallic, but it is a true metallic. And this shade is like a salmon shade. This is a salmon-like shade. And I would apply this all over the lid. Very easy to work with, easy to blend out. You could also, depending on your skin tone, get away with using this as a highlighter or even a blush. The last shade, the last shade in the quad is School Bus. And this is a navy shade in a pearlized finish. This shade makes an amazing liner all over the lid shade, great for smoky eye and also layering or blending with some of the lighter shades. I feel like it complements the pink shades in the collection. Inside of the box it says Hello Kitty is as tall as five apples and weighs the same as three apples, which I thought was really cute. Next up we're going to be looking at the face products. The next shade is the highlight and this is School is Fun and this is Super Shock Cheek in a pearlized finish. This is one of my favorite highlights, not just because it's in this collection but because it has a golden reflection. It really reminds me of Makeup Revolution's Golden Lights, which is one of my favorite highlights, um, affordable highlights. This is very similar in formula. This one is called Coin Purse, and this is a Super Shock Cheek in Matte. This is a brightened pink. You want to be careful with this blush because this can sneak up on you and get really opaque real fast. I would suggest applying this in layers because you can always keep building it up, but you can't always take it down. Now onto the lip products. We have a lot of lip products and the first product that I'm showing you guys is the gloss in Arigato, which is a sheer formula. This shade really just made my natural lips look a little bit glossier. There is a slight shimmer in it, but it is not that apparent. Then moving on to the next gloss, this is called Super Cute. This is also a sheer and it's really pretty much as the name implies. In the tube it looks like it's going to be a glitter bomb, but when you apply it to your lips it's more of just a sheer gloss with a very slight minute sparkle. Moving on we have the shade Tiny Chum and this is a pink and nude ultra satin lip. This one kind of smelled like paint to me. Um, it was a little bit unpleasant but I did get over it after a while. The next shade is the ultra satin lip Lock Diary and this was one of my favorite shades because it was almost like a hot pink. It's not ultra neon. This is definitely going to be more flattering than other brighter pinks on multiple skin tones. The next shade is Trinkets, and this is a sheer ultra glossy lip. This added just a little bit of reddish pink tint to my natural lip color. The next shade is the shade Surprise, and this is an ultra metallic lip. The first thing I noticed about this one is the brush felt rough and hard on my lips, and it felt grainy. I did like the way this one looked on my lips, but the application process was not a pleasant one. Also, this one stayed. As for the Hello Kitty lippy sticks, there are three shades. The first shade is Konnichiwa, and this is a soft muted pink. This is like a soft kind of like dusty, this is kind of like a dusty rose, and this is in the cream formula. A little bit of gloss to it without being sheer. It applied very opaque and very comfortable to wear. The next shade is Date Mate, and this is the Matte X formula. I love the Matte X formula because it is a non-drying, very easy to apply, almost transfer proof matte type lipstick and I liked the shade. It was a little bit brighter than the pink in the liquid lip collection. Then we have Let's Play and this is the Satin Luxe and this shade was a glittery shade very similar to the last shade in the gloss set, the Surprise, um, the ultra metallic lip. It reminded me of like a stick version of Surprise and a little bit more deeper red. 
Now before I move on to the box set, I did want to make a few notes. The glosses, I did find that they were sticky. Like, I don't know if you could see this here. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Do you see this? Like the strings. Like how it's gathering on the inside of my lip. I hate that. I hate that shit so much. Um, and that's what these glosses are doing. I am wearing two together, but I do not like products that kind of get stingy, strict, uh, I don't like products that get sticky and stringy. And honestly, of the satin lip products and all the other lip products that I, I mean, I've had problems with Colourpop in the past, but none of them have caused this, like, stringy, sticky buildup right here in the middle of my lips, and I have to think that this is because I layered a gloss on top of a satin. So if you are layering these products, or even if you're just using the gloss, be wary that these do kind of collect. Um, they don't really, none of these really feathered. None of them really, all of them were pretty opaque, except for the glosses as mentioned, but this, this problem, ugh, I don't like it, like I could taste it, it's kind of getting in my mouth and I'm tasting it, and I was just like, ugh, not liking it at all. As for all the other products, the shadows were phenomenal, love them, always love the ColourPop shadows, and the cheek products were great, just remember that ColourPop highlights migrate, they do not set down, just, they do not set down like the cheek products, and they do not set, set down like the eyeshadows, these do migrate, these do move, they do not set down, so if you want to set them down a little bit more, use a setting spray. So let's move on to the box set now. So this is the box set that I'm going to be showing you guys, it looks like one of their PR packagings, and when you open it up, it features three shadows, a generous size mirror, two face products, and two lip products. So let's get swatching this up. And also it says hello pretty, who doesn't like being greeted with the things this is hello pretty we need more positive affirmations in our life so this eye set by the way this eye set is a little bit darker than the mama's apple pie set i feel like this is for more of like an everyday or more mature kind of look so the first shade is bento box and this is a pearlized shadow this is a grade blue shade this is perfect for your everyday smoky eye it works great as a liner this is gonna look phenomenal on blue eyes via blue eyes is really gonna make your eyes pop but it does look well on other eyes as well the middle shade in the set is the shade Sticker Sheet, and this is Super Shock Shadow with Satin Finish. I was a little bit disappointed with this shade because it applied a little bit sheer, and usually their satins don't apply sheer. So this one, of course, can be built up, but I just expected a little bit more opacity from a shade like this. And this works well as a transitional shade and an all over the eye shade. The last shade is Juicy Apple and this is a super shock shadow in a glitter sheer formula. This is the sparkly shade of the collection and it's really nice because if you're not looking for that super sparkle on your eyes, go ahead and use this on your cheeks because it makes an excellent highlight. If you are using it on your eyes, feel free to layer it over the Milver sticker sheet to take a day look into night. Now there are two cheek products and this cheek product in here in the set is a little bit lighter a little bit more everyday than the coin purse and this is called fun with friends and this is a softer pink this is in the shade this is in a pearlized finish so it definitely blends out a little bit more I also feel like this one also is more flattering on the skin meaning that the matte shade was a little bit built up too fast whereas this one kind of blends out builds up just the right amount now this blush will look well on all skin tones as for the blush, this is also not so pop in your face. This is called, the one that's included with the set is Yummy Cookies. This is a pearlized, and this is kind of a soft pink highlight. This is going to give you more of like a dewy look. This is more of a natural look because it gives you a softer, pinker rather than golden. Now there are two lip products included in this set. The Ultra Glossy Lip in KT, and this is a golden glitter gloss. Now I didn't really see too much of the golden glitter on my lip. Again, it was more of like a sheer gloss with minimal glitter. Unless you're like right up in my face, you didn't really see it and also the ultra matte lip in ribbon and this was just your basic red matte lip uh, I did like applying the golden shimmer over it but again it just made the red look glossy not really glittery so overall I thought that these products were really fun they really kept up with the theme of Hello Kitty the quality across the board was decent the prices were affordable if you don't count the sets like the quad and the big set here the most expensive item were the cheek products and they were eight dollars if you love Hello Kitty this is something that you might want to pick up because there are a lot of wearable shades here um, a lot of Hello Kitty collections to be geared towards younger girls whereas I feel like there was enough products and enough variation here that you 
you have the products for those who are young young and you also have the products for those who are a little bit more mature and have different tastes have more like everyday work kind of taste but still want to get their hello kitty on like i feel like there was a good mesh and a good mix here so guys did you pick up anything from the ColourPop hello kitty collection if you did let me know in the comment section below and as always guys thank you so much for watching please do check out my tutorial i do have two tutorials i have one on the individual pieces which you see here and also one on the box set so please check out the links below along with some more information as always guys thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on instagram i'm recycled stardust